Hey everybody, so today we're going to be doing a quick how-to video just to explain how you can set up and use your Ledger hardware wallet on Akala. Um, so the topics we're going to cover are how you can download the Akala application onto your Ledger hardware device, how you can then go about creating an Akala address for that device, uh, then we will explain how to add the address you've just created to your polka.js extension and lastly i'll give you an example of doing a transaction so why don't we get started so to begin the process of installing the akala application onto your ledger device first we'll need to open the ledger application on your computer connect your ledger device to your computer and use your passcode to unlock your ledger device. Once you've completed this, you can select my ledger. Now you can see we are in the app catalog and let's use the search bar to search for Cala. When you do this, you will be given a light and an Excel version of the Acala application and the light version is sufficient for most users. So now that we have it, let's install the Acala application onto our Ledger device. Great, now we've successfully installed the Acala application onto our Ledger device. Okay, so now that we have the Akala application installed on our Ledger device, next we're going to set up an Akala wallet for our Ledger device. So to do this, first we're going to want to connect um, our Ledger device to our computer, uh, input the passcode to open your Ledger device, and use the right-click button to select the Akala application. Next, as you can see on screen, we're going to open up our polka.js application. Um, as you can see on the top left, we are currently viewing the polka.dot chain. First, we're going to want to select the Akala chain. So to do this, we go to the top left corner, select polka.dot, scroll down, select Akala, and then select the switch button. Now you can see we are viewing our polka.js application on the Akala chain. Before we get started, you're going to need to review the settings um, to ensure that you will be able to execute these. this. Um, so first, select settings and review manage hardware connections. Here, there are two options that concern us. One that is attach ledger web USB that is recommended for Windows user. And then we have attach ledger via web HD HID that is for Mac iOS. So as I'm using a Mac, I'm going to select that option and select save. Um, to continue, let's go back to the accounts page. Uh, now <clears throat> look down at your Ledger device, um, as, we, as we selected the application, the Akala application from the beginning, it should now say Akala ready on your Ledger device. Once it says this, you're now ready to continue and select the button Add via Ledger. So we've selected this. This will pop out a new window that says Add account via Ledger. From here, we can name our wallet. We're going to call this wallet ledger hardware wallet and for account type and address index we recommend you leave these as the default option as they are set up to facilitate your average user once we're ready to continue let's select save great now we can see our ledger hardware wallet has been created if you would like to review the address of your Ledger hardware wallet, you can select these three buttons and then select show address on hardware device. <clears throat> Selecting this will now show your address on your Ledger hardware wallet device and you can compare this to clicking this button and you will see that the number 
the yes, the wallet address on your device will match the wallet address shown in the top right hand corner. Great. So now we've set up an Akala wallet address for our Ledger device. Okay, so now that we have installed uh, the Akala application on our Ledger, created an Akala wallet for our Ledger, next we want to add this wallet to our Polkadot.js extension so that we can use the Akala application. Great. So to do this, let's select the Polkadot.js browser extension, then select the plus button, and at the bottom here, you'll see it says attach ledger account. So we want to do this. So let's select this to continue. Great. Um, here we'll see another pop up window and we want to add an Akala chain wallet address. So we'll select Akala. And we also now have the opportunity to name our account. We're going to name it the same as before ledger hardware wallet. Um, same as before, we recommend leaving the account type and the address index as the default as these are set up for your average user. So we're now going to select import account. Fantastic. Now we can see that this is our ledger hardware wallet and it's the same wallet address as the wallet we created in polka.js earlier. Fantastic. So you can see here, I'm currently connected to my random wallet. We would like to change over to our ledger hardware wallet. So we'll select the account button, then select change. And you can see ledger hardware wallet is shown here. We'll select this and select confirm. Now you can see that we are connected with our ledger hardware wallet to the Akala application. Um, and from here, we'll be able to do further transactions as required. Okay, so lastly, I'm going to do an example transaction to show you how you can use the Akala application with your Ledger hardware wallet. For this example, we're going to do a small swap transaction um, just to show you how it works. So we're going to swap a little bit of ACA, one ACA into a little bit of L dot, our liquid staking product. Great. So just like with a normal swap, we have connected to our ledger hardware wallet in the top right. We select the token we want to pay with, that's ACA. We select the token we want to receive, that's L dot tokens. Now we select the swap button. Just like with a normal transaction, a Polkadot.js pop-up will now be shown on your screen. To continue, select Sign on Ledger. Great. Once you do this, you will see a Please Review notification being shown on your ledger. You will now need to click the right button to review the transaction. So we can see it says DEX swap with exact supply and now it will show us the details of the transaction. Once you review the details of this, this transaction and you are happy with it, you will get to an approve button. To confirm your approval, just click both the left and the right button simultaneously. Now that we've done that, you can see that our ledger wallet has approved the transaction and that is now being sent to the DEX. Great. So we can now see that that's gone through and we've traded one ACA into 0.24 L dot with our hardware wallet. Great.